So I wanted to make a quick update to the video I made previously about how to most effectively market a new computer repair store. So since Google banned third-party uh, service provider ads, you can no longer make ads for computer repair. They did this pretty much to um, get rid of the tech support scams and things that you would see on Google, like when you click on them, um, you would go to like a, a third-party tech support scammer where they would offer to take control of your computer and pretty much tell you you have viruses and that kind of thing. And it was all just a big mess. So anyway, to get rid of that, Google just did a blanket ban on every kind of third-party technical support, including legitimate computer repair businesses. So um, they actually did this about three or four years ago, but many businesses were able to keep advertising for a few years after that, mine included. Uh, unfortunately, it's starting to catch up to a lot of uh, legitimate computer repair businesses. So um, I figured I would put together a few ways that you can advertise your computer repair business without using Google Ads. So here they are. So the first thing really is um, free advertising. You know, the old free ways are still effective. Um, free marketplaces like Craigslist and Facebook. Um, now there's paid services. Facebook offers a paid service. Um, Bing ads are still pretty effective, uh, especially if you're a computer repair business. You might notice a lot of older clientele do still use Bing ads because, well, Bing is the default search engine on Microsoft Edge. So if you don't know how to change your search engine or if you don't care to, then you're going to end up on Bing, whether you like it or not. So Bing ads are pretty effective for bringing in that level of uh, computer repair clientele. Um, not as expensive as Google, actually. I've noticed personally that I get a much higher conversion rate with Bing ads. Um, Facebook ads are a different story. In my experience, it's been pretty expensive to get started on Facebook and figure out a, a campaign that actually works. Um, but it's one alternative to Google. Now, the best thing I think you could really do is just to optimize your website, and just optimize your web presence. So what that means is Take Google, for example. You would really start there with your Google business profile, formerly known as Google My Business, um, which is pretty much just a business listing with your phone number, uh, your website address, business hours, you know, basic stuff about your business. Now, you could really supercharge this by just being more active and engaging with your customers. So with a Google business profile, you can, you can message your customers. They can message you. They can get directions to your business. They can call your business, obviously, um, but you want to be as active on the Google business profile as possible. So you do this by making posts and just keeping up-to-date information and having a good response rate when somebody messages you through Google. So uh, another way that you can really supercharge your web presence is by taking your business name, address, and phone number and making sure that that is consistent across the entire internet. So places like Facebook, Nextdoor, uh, Yellow Pages, Yahoo, just make sure your business name, address, and phone number, and a link back to your website, of course, just make sure all that matches across all of these websites. So the more consistent you are with this, um, the more authority Google will give your business and your website. Um, so in reality, I think this is better in the long run than Google Ads because it's free. You know, you can't argue with the price. Um, you know, and another thing is reviews. Of course, that's a pretty strong part of a Google business profile. So make sure you're asking for reviews. Make sure you're responding to them. Uh, even bad reviews you want to respond to. And one thing that I noticed is when you look up a keyword, like say laptop repair, uh, usually if it's mentioned in a review, like say for example if someone said you know these guys did a great job with my laptop repair so on and so on that'll actually show up and be highlighted when somebody searches for laptop repair that keyword will be highlighted in the review so basically if you can slip in a few keywords to your reviews uh, you know you really can't control if your clients you know how they write their reviews but in your response you can uh, just slip in some keywords pretty much and that'll really help uh, build up your search authority as well. 
Um, but yeah, pretty much that's it. I mean, just focus on optimizing your, your website, making sure your content, uh, your business name, address, phone number is consistent across the internet, and just engage with customers. Uh, make posts on Google Posts, uh, make posts on Facebook, uh, even places like YouTube and Reddit are, are pretty good. Just most important thing is make sure that business name, address, and phone number matches and you have a link back to your website. So the more authority your website has, uh, the more often you'll show up in search results. And before you know it, you know, you won't really even need Google Ads. So basically, that's how we do it now that Google Ads has banned uh, legitimate third-party repair services like a